JTV. Oh, today is a good day. The time has come, the time is right, and we are ready to move on to the push pull legs routine. Today is going to be the first of the six sessions for this week. So, this is the push emphasis session. I hope you guys are ready. We are starting off with bench press on 90 kilos. The first set, I only got five reps, so I might have to drop it down which is a bit awkward, it's supposed to be hyped for the start of this plan, but anyway, it's gonna be a good one. Drop it a like and a comment down below. Let's get it started. We argue barefoot on the kitchen floor. It was such a rush, but enough's enough. Set two and three of bench press. We dropped it down to 85 kilos. We dropped the ego, we dropped the weight. And what do you know, we bashed out two solid sets of eight reps. And so that's what this is all about. This new plan, I'm focusing on hypertrophy. Even though right now I am actually in a caloric deficit, which makes it very hard to build muscle, I am still relatively new to this whole, you know, bodybuilding kind of style of training. And especially since I haven't done eight reps solid for three sets on the bench press for a long time, I wouldn't be very surprised if I did actually see some decent muscle gains from this. So, we're just experimenting. Next up, we got shoulder press, we've got incline dumbbell press, we've got loads of isolations. I'm so freaking buzzing to be doing this plan again. Let's keep it going. I will love you better, I will love you better. Definitely 100% feeling the effects of this new routine. The hot garage, the, uh, the increased sort of overload on one muscle group. You know, this is primarily chest and shoulders. By now, normally I would have split it up with some back, a couple of back exercises. But now it's just pounding, 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 pounding chest and shoulders because this is the push emphasis workout. <sighs> feeling good. <sighs> But I'm finding that I can shift even less weight than I already could because one, I've lost weight. And so, you know, loss of weight in terms of pounds means loss of strength eventually. That's just part of the process. But doing one muscle group after another, as in the normal routine, doing one muscle group after another with no rest means that the kind of the plateau, the uh, the fatigue, the onset of fatigue has kind of come on a lot quicker um, than what I'm used to because I've not had the rest in between. <sighs> Sick hair, dude. I will love you better. I will love you better. so tired but feeling so good all at the same time the pump is mental man because I, like I said going back to what I just said about having the same muscle groups one after another that makes me more tired but it also makes the pump ridiculous we are rocking the full-on holiday vibe today we have one athletic vest yes that's right guys they are swim trunks and Flip-flops as well. Peep the calf, peep the calf. The reason being, it is sweltering, absolutely freaking baking here in the UK the past couple of weeks. And especially here in the garage home gym, this, is, this has no air con, nothing like that, like a commercial gym. I am boiling. Yeah. 
I actually have a bunch of peaks now. Let's celebrate. I will let you Not bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so tired. But I feel so good all at the same time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, this is not the end of the video though. Normally I just do a walkthrough and that's kind of it. But um, today we are carrying on the video because I'm going to be brutally open and honest with you guys. Um, I have a job interview tomorrow. And so I don't know whether tomorrow or not I will find out if I've got it. But, I'm not going to hide it from you, I'm going to show you it and then, you know, be honest if I have got it, be honest if I haven't. Um, simple as, really. Okay, so, the interview is over in Nottingham. Whoa. Okay, so the interview is over in Nottingham where I am right now. Um, and I'm, uh, it's, it's weird. I'm like nervous, but I'm not at the same time. It's, it's like, I don't know, because I'm more than confident in my ability to do the job and my, you know, qualifications to do the job and all of this kind of stuff. But, like, you know, someone who's majorly overqualified for it could come in and just swoop it. But, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going dressed like this. Don't worry, I've got a change of clothes in my car. Wristbands coming off. I mean, I know it's a gym, but like, at the end of the day, an interview's an interview. So, they're coming off. Two hours later. Oh. Oh my god, people. I'll tell you what, that was really good. It was really fun. Um, active, a laugh, and yeah, I think I just think it'd be a great place to work. I think like the vibe, you know, suits me down to the ground. Really, you can have a laugh but still be serious all at the same time. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope I hope I get it, man, because and I know I, I know I'd be really good at the job. Um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully they saw that too. So uh, what we had to do was actually, um, <laughs> it was weird, man. We had to do like a role play where we had to pretend to be um, behind the desk on the gym floor, pretend to be a PT, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we sort of talked about the company, what the history is and like what their morals are, which, you know, kind of, again, is in line with what I believe in terms of just helping everyone and being the best that you can all the time. So, I, just, oh, I really hope I get it, man, but I don't know because they they made a point of Virgin Active hiring from within, so hiring from their already current staff, and there was already someone there who was part of their team, he's a lifeguard, and they're like, oh yeah, we can move to this and move to that, and so if there's only one position available, which I'm not entirely sure if there is, um, the chances are that he'll get it because, you know, it kind of makes sense, they know what he's like, he seemed like a really nice bloke, um, so you know, can't really resent him for that, but who knows, hopefully we'll get it, and um, yeah, what I'm going to do now is go to the flat, which you guys haven't seen for about three weeks now, something like that, um, pick up a few things, because I may as well, I'm in Nottingham, like I may as well start, continue the process of moving out, you know, so um, yeah, that's that, and um, off we go. Oh, by the way, the reason I'm sweating is because we did like an active session at the end, and I was like... Come on, Liam, like, push for it, push, come on. You want this job, like, push for it, impress. Come on, like, and so anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. God. <sighs> okay. Change of plan. We actually ended up going around Market Square. Um, 
bit of nostalgia in there. I was like, well, I'm in knots, it's sunny. I love Market Square. So uh, let's go have a look and uh, tell you what, it was bloody brilliant. I picked up some new shoes to go with that fitness YouTuber outfit uh, that you guys saw in the last video. And yeah, life's good. Life is good. Let's go home. All right, everybody. So just wanted to round off today's video and thank you guys so much for watching. But first, just real quick, what I wanted to say was when you go to an interview yourself, uh, I am graduating now and so, well, actually that's next week. Wow, that came around fast. Next week I will be graduating and so I am looking for a job. That is why I had to go to the interview earlier. Um, and yeah, what, what I just wanted to quickly say was not that I'm an expert or anything, but like when you go to an interview, try and go the extra mile. Just don't, don't do what is asked of you, go a little bit further, go a little bit beyond that. You know, like I was trying really freaking hard in that, in that practical session and I just did my best throughout the entire thing. Like I could have just slugged along, you know, doing, doing a little bit, but I thought, no, come on, try, do your best and earn your place here. So you guys can kind of take that, lock it in, keep it in there, that kind of thing that I always say. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be that. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can see... England in the World Cup semi-final tonight. You guys will see that in my next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Together, we will grow. I'll see you guys in the next video. That was really creepy, actually. <laughs>